Hey everyone, and welcome back to Commander Clash. This week, we are keeping it nice and simple after multiple weeks of Kamigawa-themed episodes. We're just going to be doing Anything Goes, which means there's no theme restriction. We play whatever deck we feel like bringing this week. Um, this week... Richard could not join us. Uh, he had a valid excuse. Uh, he's having a baby. Or his wife is having a baby. And so he's having a baby. Or like she's, you know what I mean? Uh, so, so they're, Close enough. he's busy right now. Uh, valid excuse. Uh, so we're bringing in as an emergency replacement, uh, our editor, who you are probably very familiar with, uh, behind the scenes. He edits all of uh, the commander videos and the editor notes are him popping up to tell us how we're bad at magic. Uh, it's <laughs> Nyadic. Uh, thanks for joining Nyadic, especially at like such a short, uh, short uh, notice. Hello, yeah. Uh, Cream couldn't make it because uh, he's sleeping and also doing other <laughs> things. <laughs> but I'm here for, for once. I generally don't want to, to be on Commander Clash, but I mean, <laughs> which is a, a crazy excuse for this. It is an honor! <laughs> <laughs> Just because you know the guests will get killed first, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I'm honored to do Well, so. Before we just introduce you, how about uh, you tell us a little bit about what deck you're writing today? All right, so so I'm playing Spell Shaper this week <laughs> and Associates. <laughs> so if you haven't been playing Magic for a long time, you might not know Spell Shaper. <laughs> the old creatures that can tap and pay a mana cost and discard a card to essentially cast a spell that exists. For example, I have a spell shaper that for one and a green, uh, discard a card and will trigger a basic, so it casts shrimp and growth every turn. <laughs> <laughs> so, spell shapers, the last one was in future, future size, I think. So they're bad. <laughs> well, they're, they're not 2020 magic. <laughs> so I'm only playing about 20 of them. I have also, I have also, also other cards that Cast spells that exist. I have Banguses. I have sp uh, th stuff like that. But it's five colors. I have Garth as my commander because he casts spells too. <laughs> other spells yeah, that that's, exist. That's and that's the, that's the deck. Yeah, I, I, I remember a version of this deck being played on one of my streams when, when I had you on. Yeah, uh, I think I played it with Kinrith at that time. Uh, so I'm excited to see what, what upgrades have been made. All right. Moving on, we got Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive. What are you running this week? Ah, so I'm sticking with uh, some Kamigawa Neon Dynasty action, playing another <laughs> one of the new commanders that we haven't yeah. seen yet in Shigeki Jukai Visionary. And uh, this deck, it's kind of funny. I built the deck because there's something I wanted to do, and then I found the commander afterwards. So rather than building around the commander, I built the deck, and then Shigeki ended up being the fun choice to be the commander. So I don't want to really tell you what my deck's trying to do. I'm trying to achieve this crazy, like five card thing that is probably not going to actually happen, <laughs> but, uh, but we'll see. So Shigiki surprise, let's say, uh, Shigiki with some interesting sub themes. Okay. Okay. Uh, this was one that I, I, I did not, uh, think too much about when we were like choosing our commanders, but I did, we did see it a little bit in, in Phil's uh, deck uh, in the in 99. The 99. So this is going to be cool to see uh, what it's, it can do in the command zone. At least help with whatever secret theme yeah. you've got going on. Honestly, I think it's a better 99 card, but it, it works for what this deck's trying to do. So I'm, I'm yeah. going to see yeah. how good it can be as a commander. <laughs> All right. Next up, we got Phil. What are you running this week? So originally, I was planning to, uh, in the theme of my newest video coming up, play a Fibberthip deck. This didn't happen. <laughs> it might happen in the future. I had some ideas, but I didn't have the time. Please uh, still watch my new video, which is <laughs> up, Ding. Uh, up here, it's up <laughs> there in the right. <laughs> now I'm playing a user submitted deck. Uh, somebody uh, texted me on Twitter and said, hey, you like casting Aminata's Augury? And I said, oh, hell yeah, I do. And they had sent me this deck and said, it's a pretty good shell for casting that card. It's an emoti settlement of bounty deck so cascade and big spell themed and while i'm casting big spells i might as well run karuga as a companion so no soul ring for me this time Ooh. but some pretty heavy spells i did as usual cut out the extra turn spells 
and include some of my own specialties. There's, yeah, okay. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <the deck. laughs> Kill Phil first. What bus? What bus? Alright, interesting. Uh, Karuga companion, no soul ring, so the streak has been officially broken. But um, oh, it's been broken for a long time now. Yeah, it I don't actually think has. I sing a soul ring this season. <laughs> Se- yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess you're just saving up all your luck. You know, you have to collect yeah. it after that last season. <laughs> so next next time you're running, you'll get the turn one. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> All right, and then finally, hello, this is Tomer. I am running, uh, much like Seth, I, I picked a concept and then I picked a commander to do it. This is Arkham Dagson, which back in the day was like a very scary commander in like when I started playing commander in like 2011 or, or, or so. Um, it can tutor up uh, artifacts by sacrificing artifact creatures to get non-artifact uh, things, uh, non-creature artifacts onto the battlefield. Tutor on stick, pretty powerful. Uh, gonna tutor up certain things. Uh, will be different and uh, unique, and uh, yeah, we'll see what we'll see what it is. It's a secret though, just like Seth. Just like Seth is a secret. <laughs> so I think that means we're friends this week, right? Secret, secret friends. <laughs> yeah, secret, secret, <laughs> secret friendship, secret friendship. Feel with companion buddies. <laughs> yeah, <I guess. laughs> sure. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that, those are our decks this week. Uh, before we jump into the game, though, uh, two things we got to do. First, we got to plug our channel. If you want to see Commander Clash uh, continue to grow, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and helps us, you know, uh, produce more of these videos in the future. And the other thing you can do, uh, you can help us out financially uh, by purchasing all the beautiful things uh, in Rich's garage, which are deck uh, deck boxes, deck sleeves, uh, tokens, play mats, um, merch. You could buy like uh, t-shirts and whatnot, clothing stuff, and so much more over at mtugoldfishmerch.com. Uh, that can really help us out. Maybe, uh, yeah. Maybe maybe fund that sippy cup that I've, I've been always always wanting uh, to make. And the last thing before we jump into the game, obviously, uh, if you want to support the show another way, yeah, you can purchase all the beautiful cards that we're playing today uh, over at cardkingdom.com. They have basically every single card you could possibly want in stock and also any magic related products as well over at cardkingdom.com. If you use the affiliate link, uh, MTG Goldfish, uh, you get a little discount and you support the show at the same time. So you should... Do that. All right, now we jump into the game. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're in the game. Everybody kept a starting seven. Uh, Phil, you get to go first. But before that, we missed something <laughs> uh, last week, I believe. And the comment section definitely let us know about it. Uh, Seth, what do we have to do before we get to play the game of Magic the Gathering together? I was hoping we'd forget about it for one more week. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, we need to clash on. Clash on! <laughs> clash on! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right. I still can't believe Seth didn't forget about it, but just became the ambassador of enforcing the clash on and just choose to not mention it. <laughs> None of us. I always remember it if someone else loses. <laughs> he made but. sure. <laughs> Secretly, everybody loves it. Okay, um, so while I cannot play a Sol Ring, since Kiruga only. Oh my god, you have a turn one play still. I do have a turn one play it's a rift soa which Ooh. is basically it i suspend it so it's suspended for two turns and then it's a lana elf no oh, yeah. yeah basically a soul nice. ring right that's yeah, pretty good <laughs> and that's it's, it's one of my very few one drops that's why i had to keep this one that's a, that's like a the perfect start right karuga is like, a yeah, yeah. it's a search for tomorrow but in creature form wow yeah I don't know if I've ever seen a Karuga deck. It cuts off so many uh, mana rocks. It's really yeah. It's that's really why it was like I get I kind of feel bad because some of my former Patreons already sent me lists a long time ago, and I kind of wanted to play them first, but I had to find something on the fly, and this deck was Simic, and I saw a lot of card draw. <laughs> I'm sorry to it's, anyone which deck I didn't play, but I yeah, this card really caught my eye here. I uh, want Scalding Turn into an island. Uh. I have a Rings of Brightheart. That's why I run the, the fetch lands. It's going to be a slow start for me. Elvish Mystic. That's nice. Yeah, Turn that's one. a little, little bit of ramp. I got so many lands in this hand, unfortunately. I just go Probably should have Maltus 6. 
How many, okay, question as we go through these first turns, we're getting the rest of the triomes. You're playing a five color deck. How many triomes are in your mana base? Um, Almost all of them. Depends on the. If I have color if I separation. have all ten fetch lands, probably all probably all ten, except if my deck is weighted towards the color more than the others. But I'm only ten. five. Only five yeah. still. Ugh. I do five. They're too slow. Like if you have ten of them, too many of them, too many of your lands enter tapped. I think it, yeah. I'm more than five, but less than ten. I think maybe like mm. eight. I don't know, somewhere in there. Maybe it's all I mean, ten. Minamo. Ooh. <laughs> Still uh, definitely a slow start for me. Wow. Not gonna do. I'm, I'm. I'm basically playing a Karuga deck. I'm just gonna be passing until turn three. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> what do we do here? Uh, let's just play a forest. And a little bit more mana, I guess. Yeah, that's good. Draw a card. So heavy ramp here. A lot of heavy ramp. Creature it's ramp. It's mostly Good mostly ramp. just creatures. First spell shaper. Dreamscape artist. Ooh, oh, nice. that card's so underrated. I love this card. It's a blue a blue cultivate that's repeatable or whatever blue, almost. Blue like it's a uh, hero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a more that correct is. description. Ooh, Phil's going but off. Kill him. <laughs> <laughs> cast. It's a thing. Click the cast. I cast, to cast. Oh, there's the cast. Okay. So I, I had a very slow start, and Phil actually had turn play first, play a turn one Rift Sora. Yes, and turn completely three. online. Guardian project. You love yeah. to see it. And pass the turn. Uh, that was actually pretty key. I just drew this. Otherwise, I would probably do nothing this turn. Well. Things aren't looking too great here, but well, yeah, it's a lot of fetch lands in a your mono blue deck, Tomer. Um, you're copying. Yeah, is that the idea they... to copy the copy the triggers? Yeah, I have rings of bright there, so I uh, copy the triggers to ramp, turn them into rampant growth effects. I'm just gonna cast a trinket mage. But Seth, don't you think these islands look like forests? I mean, these are way worse than the. <laughs> Than they the do, swamps, I think. They do look pretty foresty. Yeah. Like, <laughs> they, the, the swamp at least has a dark overall feeling. Yeah the, yeah, the red swamp. But these are these really look like a forest. I I, I think part of it's the borderlessness. Because I'm looking at my lands. I'm playing the, the black and white Innistrad lands. And those have, like, no color. But the border color, like, yeah, kind of lets you know what it is. Uh, uh, okay. Skullclamp. You don't like the black and white lands? No, no, no. no. I like uh -huh. n nothing about the black and white, whatever, double feature thing. It was they, just... Oh, they're definitely wow. not for me. <laughs> Especially when you see them, like... They're they're okay on MTGO, but then when you see them on, like, a webcam or something, and it's just, like, oh, this black yeah. and white blob, and it's like, I don't know, this is a forest. <laughs> mm. There's nothing foresty here at all, but, I mean... You can say that about a lot of cards these days, so. Well, uh, what do we do now? I don't know, ramp a bit? <laughs> it's uh, always, a, always a good idea. <laughs> I guess we'll just play Shigiki. And... Oh. Hmm. This doesn't really do anything yet, but we'll play Nick, though. <laughs> so much we'll... mana. Hmm. <laughs> Do I even want to play this? I don't even know if I want to play this. Um, you know what? We're gonna do it. Whatever. What's the What's the worst that can happen? Uh, Geyer, <laughs> Geyer Sage. That's a lot of mana. That's a lot of mm. mana ramp. It's not really doing anything though. So <laughs> my hand is so my hand yeah, is yeah, so many lands. <laughs> you, you in Mono Green. Do not seem to be a particularly counter the deck, <laughs> and you have a Gaia Sage. That makes me suspicious <laughs> as to what your secret theme is. Um, yeah, what's the... Because that's a lot of mana dogs. So, Shig Shigeki can return cards, non-legendary non -legendary cards, card. I guess, from your graveyard to your hand. 
I guess you can f- fork forever with this. I don't know if y'all uh, are gonna gonna figure out the theme. Not yet, at least. Yeah. It has it to be could, like some giant mana something something, right? It, like, it could be a actually, f- primal surge or something like that. But. It's also mana dork, so it's not Ooh, like he's not I'm he's not surge. rampant growth thing. So it has to be like some sort of maybe like mass untap them elf ball strategy. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell there you yet. You're gonna have to wait. Arrow. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And the lands even come into play untapped, right? Why don't people play more Dreamscape artists? Mm-hmm. This card a card sacrifice and then search your library for up to it's two basic slow. lands cards and, and put them on the people, battlefield. People are uh. play, playing it. I, I hear a lot of it's underrated, but <laughs> with how many times I hear it's underrated, I say it a lot. It's five mana and you discard two cards to hero and then continue discarding cards and paying three to hero. I don't know if that's... Great. Yeah, I guess <laughs> it's. I, I wouldn't run it. Yeah, <laughs> if you're supposed to be for tribal, I understand. That's that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't put it in like a random deck. Wow, Seth casted co- his commander before me. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, Seth cast uh, his two drops before uh, your five. Uh, has, <laughs> cascade her. Has, oh, that is perfect. Oh no. Oh. Yes. Oh, he got the got Oof. the fill card. Oh yes. <laughs> and you draw it too. Oh, we got it. Oh, this I is bet you none of us have four first. wipes too, right? Like, <laughs> I know. I'm mono green. I'm mono green. I can't do anything about this ever. I'm mono blue. What am I gonna do? Oh, oh counter. Seth has a lot counter of mana. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if you saw just, my hand, yeah. I don't know if you'd be worried. <laughs> I got four okay. lands in hand. Four lands. Oh god. <sighs> oh no. All right, Tomer, save us. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I missed a land drop. Oh, no. It's Ooh. all that fetch land deck thinning. Punished. Yeah, it's- <laughs> <laughs> well, I kept a three lander, and then I, I was gonna, I was thinking, do I mull down to six? Because I have a three lander, but I have like a trinket mage and some three drops. That's just keep kinda... it and like three lander it can't be that fast right but three landers are fine i think it's just unlucky like you should have drawn a land by now yeah but everybody was playing like turn one ramp cards so <laughs> it's not I that guess. fast actually um i'll just cast mirror and besiege and pass <laughs> Uh, let's cast the mirror inside. So whenever I cast an artifact spell, I make a one-one. Is that your secret theme? Are you trying to win with the Phyrexian mode, <laughs> or is that just <laughs> for value? Okay, maybe. Uh, I mean, I don't doubt a Narcom deck can win with the Phyrexian side <laughs> if it wants to, but the, I've never seen somebody do it though. Is it, shouldn't it be easy in modern? Uh, I mean, I've done it for like a self mill deck, right? Easy. Like, I've done it like against that. Yeah. But in modern, you'd, you'd need to mill your entire deck, and if you're milling your entire deck, you <laughs> you have better ways to no, win. Okay. Mm. Then there are 15 <laughs> or more artifact cards. I guess if mm. they unbend the OG artifact lands, and you have to mill yourself, yeah, okay. I'm not saying it's good, but oh it seems God, so easy so nowadays. Uh, it doesn't even make mana yet. Hang on, this. I gotta, I gotta rethink. <laughs> oh, do I gotta play this first? Oh, uh, well, Tomer, I think you're going to hate me this week. <laughs> no. Critic so oh, oh, Cradle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. You're like, I don't run Mana Crypt this week. Uh, like, no, no Mana Crypt. Right, no cool. Mana Crypt. I was, cool, I was being cool. honest. <laughs> I should have put Jewel Lotus in the sack. <laughs> uh, and then we'll make a little more mana. Jewel Lotus for a six study. And then we'll no play, six study now. play this. Ooh. Oh, okay. To make a little more mana. Maybe Neotic has a board wipe. And then we'll play this to draw a card. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still think Phil's the scary one. <laughs> oh, okay. Personally. Personally. <laughs> personally. <laughs> no bias there. <laughs> I think you're both kind of scary. I'll, I'll be honest. That's that's fair. Um, well, then I guess we're just... I'm just hoping oh. that Neotic has... Interaction that's not spell scrapers. 
<laughs> yeah, I too Some, somewhere in the deck. <laughs> All my hopes rest sure on anything. you. <laughs> All right, we'll get a war room, and I guess that's were it. The, were the spell shapers good in limited? I didn't know what a draft was back when <laughs> time I don't know. Was, was a thing. Ah. Uh... I don't know if they were ever good. Were they good? I don't think they were. I don't, I don't remember them being good in Time Spiral, switched. but I didn't play the earlier, the earlier versions of them. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I only saw them in Time Spiral as an active player, depending on what the other set was. Wasn't it I like mean, th 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 in Hurley Magic, they were in every other set. Well, there was one or two year of the. Ah, okay. So it's like wait, just so a whenever recurring thing. Whenever Phil casts a big thing, he cascades. Oh my yep. god! Yes, that's actually a pretty oh, yes. powerful commander. That is super and, cool, and, right? It's yeah, an uncommon. If he cascades into another big thing, he cascades also that too. Oh, oh my god! Right. Oh, oh my god! god. Yes. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right, Nia, check. kill Phil. <laughs> He's only at thirty-eight. You got him. Shape shift. Shape shift. Yeah. Oh. I'll set my spell shape. <laughs> oh, you're just ramping. Frontier guy. Yeah, it's that or missing long drops. Yeah. Ooh, did got a timeless witness, so that's sweet. Yep. Mm hmm Discard yeah. a card, search your library for a basic <laughs> Wow, a lot of shapeshifters That'll search really for a basic on, land, don't on they? Turn seven when we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Phil might not kill us. No. I don't know how. Maybe we beg wanna... for death instead. Maybe he just played and thieveries <laughs> us until we concede. That that does seem possible. I might be able to just have something next to ah, <laughs> That's that's a good one. That's gotta be. Yeah. I mean, that's a pretty huge threat of activation at least. <laughs> yeah. So how do you avoid running out of cards, Nietzsche? Because a lot of these have discard a card in I their have... cost. Is there like? ways around that or you just naturally draw cards basically concept. i have a lot more card draw on in this deck and i have card draw that uh well card draw with quotation mark that just fetches a ton of land to hand off and things, uh, things like that <laughs> that makes sense okay so i i think i'm just gonna get as much value as i can here so play yeah. that <laughs> create it Clue. Oh my god, please give me Tyler's track on, on Arena. I can't live without this anymore. Okay, tap, 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 and tap. And let's play Kodama of the East Tree. Oh, oh my god. god. I, I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Kiss Kate. So much regrets this today. Oh. Oh, that kind of combos with. Okay, so let's get a. Five an elf, which will draw me a card, and just scourge of fleets. And oh my, cooker. Phil's going off. <laughs> Phil's and, going oh yeah, off. this is beautiful. Um, let's say we get a snow-covered forest. Mm -hmm. Oops, I was going to play island. mono Hopefully. white super friends, Ooh. and then I was like, no, I'm going to play something different. Oh, Phil's got a ridiculous setup. My mono so white Kodama, super friends has lots of interaction. Whenever another yeah, permanent enters get... the battlefield, you can put one. Wow! Oh my goodness, yeah. Phil's gonna go off. Hell yeah! Yep. How do we Not stop even gonna... Phil? <laughs> it's, it's just gonna happen if nobody stops me. I have yeah, nothing. I guess I'm. I'm on right. three mana. I, mean, I, can, I, can, I can counter non-creature spells, but uh. so far it's all been creatures and guardian project. Well, if we have a fast game, maybe we can play a game too. I'll switch to mono white super friends. Wait, so... Hmm. Oh, switch decks. That's, That's cheating. No, we're no, cheating. No, it's not a, a cool single idea, person though. playing... Uh, not a single person playing interaction this week. So you have interactions. Shouldn't week. that be good for you? You look like a combo deck. Oops. Yeah, but I can't I can't come go against uh, Kodama, Kodama Karuga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have interaction in hand. It's really good at dealing with artifacts, but <laughs> I don't really want to play it right <laughs> now. Ramp. <laughs> oh, I might, I might be able to slow fill down. We'll see. Okay, I'm I mean, afraid of what that I means. Mean, you, you're equally as scary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 All 
All right, Skull Clan, we're going to draw Ooh. some cards. Ooh, that's like a combo. Oh, I like it. Boy, that is sweet. <laughs> it does combo with one ones, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if I discard my commander, I can put it back to the command zone, right? That's how this works? Yep. Okay. Yes. Ooh, so you can channel it, and then you can just loop. Oh no, then it does. Oh, it's so uh, good for looping. It's so sweet. Commander, yeah. There's so oh, you would love have you seen the the turtle deck in like standard Phil? I, I think you'd yes. like it. Oh my god. Yes, it's yes, so yes. Sweet. I play the turtle here. I, I did it in um in uh in a draft. I had this set up. Wow, this is Obviously cool. not as tuned as the constructed version, but it's unbeatable. You're just oh, playing yeah. your entire deck every every game. Oh, <laughs> if so I much remember fun. correctly, the whole format is so sweet. <laughs> did it on, in draft on the stream. And timed out. <laughs> oh, yep. Yeah, timed out. I mean, that's the best way to die. <laughs> yeah, we just did it. Did it forever. <laughs> it's so Man. like the whole format is so crazy. The limited Kamigawa. Oh, I can't get enough of it. But yeah, this uh, this whole loop thing is amazing. I I can't play it in this deck, right? It's a two drop. So, uh. oh, all right. How much mana do we have? A lot. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a, <laughs> a decent amount. Seven, twelve, <laughs> fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So that's four. It's like Genesis wave. Oh no, it's way way hilarious. You're gonna see the. Spitting you're gonna learn the. Geek. You're gonna learn the secret theme of my deck here, I think. So. It's not the Great Aurora, is it? Oh no no no. Bugged. No no okay. no. Uh, all right. So first. Uh, one, two. I think we have enough mana. I hope so. <laughs> yeah? Hey, you think you have enough mana? I hope so. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna make a little bit of mana. We're sure. going to uh -huh. channel my commander. Sure. Get a couple things back from the graveyard. Oh, trades. Oh, gotcha. Gilfeast yeah, yeah. Arch Druid. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, so you're just oh, you're a druid deck. Oh, oh you're stealing no. everybody's lands. <laughs> oh, not everybody's lands, but oh my. <laughs> yes, yes, my hidden commander might be Gilly Arch Druid. Um, yes. Ah, all right. Well, this That's is gonna be a fast game. <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so then we'll we'll cast this and draw a card. Yeah, you, you you did you did sneak that past me because like I'm aware of this this deck, but it's almost always set on, which is the the three mana druid legendary that you can tap a druid to make green. I think that I think that Shigiki is like not a bad a bad commander for the druids. I think like, it's it just much offers... better in this case because if you played if you showed set on, I would know exactly what you're doing. But you played Shigiki, I did not know. Because I was like, are you going elf ball or something? I didn't know oh, yeah. this. They're all druids as well. They're all technically oh. druids. Yeah. Oh, oh this so. is so cool. So we do we'll this. Around. We'll play the... Oh, my God. Wait, we don't have that much mana, do we? One, two, three, <laughs> four. Ugh, not quite. Uh, that's all right. We'll, we'll just do this. Play the Gilly Fart Druid. <laughs> Draw a card. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, I feel like Phil's getting just a tiny bit too far ahead here. But look at all the colors you could splash if you steal from Nertuk. <laughs> get the five the color green mana base and mono green. We're all dead, right? Like, <laughs> probably. Uh, I so can't do just, anything about this. I'm just going to tap seven druids. Uh, yeah, I, am, <laughs> I am a responsible player, so I do have a farewell somewhere. But <laughs> you Prom yeah, the problem is it has oh, to be exiled. Farewell could hit me in a perfect. <laughs> it's got to be yeah. exiled. Yo, yeah, oh, this got to be rough. Uh, I'm sorry, Phil. I feel a little bad. I even got to keep all my cards in hand because I sold the reliquary fine. tower, so I don't have to <laughs> discard the hand yeah. size. Wow. <laughs> Oh, well, midnight clock. Now I'm okay. kind of sad that the cheapest card in my deck costs three mana. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to take some time now. You were getting pretty far ahead with your yeah, Kadamas yeah, not, and stuff. I'm not hating yet. <laughs> I'm going to attack you Wait. for one. <laughs> why? Why, why me? Why me? <laughs> what did I ever do? 
<laughs> Wait, can we just try to? Hmm. I mean, I can. I mean, he is touch touch You can attack him. Yeah. 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 You I can deal can just three damage. Midnight clock trigger. I mean, it's that or we lose. So. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? <laughs> okay. Um, this is what happens when Crim's not at the table. I don't think I've ever actually got to activate Gilly Fartruid before. I've always thought it was like a neat ability, but I've never actually pulled it off. Not in Commander. I think in the against the Yeah, I think I did it in Modern before a long time ago. How about mm. whenever this, whenever Nava permanent enters the battlefield, if it wasn't put a, put a permanent with equal or less? Which I don't mind if I do. Yeah, you just put another land. Yeah, yeah and the, the crew nice. makes it so you can play another land. So you can put all your lands from hand on the battlefield. Jo oh, yes. This yeah, is so cool. Yeah, you just cool. put all your lands on the battlefield. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this land, which I didn't know existed. Do I? Can I? Dang, can I? I cannot. Okay, I can. Can I tap this first? Yes. Oh, oh, you're just making bounce it land now. Um, so uh, wow, there's only one bounce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There would need to be. You would need bounce. like a lotus cobra. Yeah. No, Sorry. but that even even then, there's only one bounce. You, well, you no. bounce the Gildas Commons, right? Oh wait, you can you? Oh, can, oh, can I can just itself, go yeah. infinite with it? With a no, can I can? It, it, can, it can, it can bounce itself, yeah. But so you can wait. go infinite, but what does it actually? You can make do? infinite, you can infinite clues, clues yeah. right? Infinite clues, yeah. That's but, true. Uh, to be honest, I just threw in this tireless tracker because <laughs> I didn't want to play extra turn spell. But this this seems to be a good inclusion. This is oh. such a neat. Thing to do. Kadama is like so strong. It's really easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. But with tireless tracker, imagine having like the like infinite artifacts going on to the battlefield is pretty easy to win with. This is. I'm not going to do this forever. So, but just do you have anything some. to do with the clue tokens? No, that's why I'm not going to do this forever. <laughs> just let me get some clue tokens, just in case. Just in case I ever get some mana again to crack them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably the bad part. The bad part, yeah. But uh, let me. Okay. I'm just gonna go up to ten. I excluded the extra turn spell, so you don't have to watch me fumble <laughs> around with a deck I've never played with. So <laughs> maybe I have to stop this. Yeah. The deck looks pretty, uh, pretty sweet. It. This right here is. Wow. I. I love it actually. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Imagine if you had lands. <laughs> You'd really be going off. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> <rub it> <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> hey, I don't get to activate Gilly Vartruid very often, so I gotta <laughs> I gotta rub it in when I get the chance. <laughs> okay. Ten clues, that should be enough. If I if I draw if I crack them all, I can be salty that I didn't make more. Oh no, it's oh, wow. <laughs> it's <Okay>. still going. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. And no, and three mana. Do I just crack a clue? <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Man, this reliquary tower was so cool to have. <laughs> hmm. I guess I see if I can draw another land. Hmm. Okay. It's a pretty good turn. That was cool, yeah. I mean, Theoretically, I could have an arbitrarily large number of clues here. That's cool to keep in mind for future decks. Although, yeah, Kodama. I mean, if you had your lines, you probably them. would have done some something uh, <laughs> yeah, a little bit more insane, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Oh, well, and taking, Seth has a double the mana with all my lands. That's frightening. I mean, that was, you already had actually... 18 mana last turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't I really think. I don't think twenty more is gonna. <laughs> I didn't really plan on winning. I just wanted to steal people's land. So <laughs> <laughs> I, it, I, I don't know. I don't know how that, of... <laughs> that sentence works out. Well, properly. I mean, I don't think. <laughs> I figured if I stole all of everyone's lands, that would just count as winning. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not. So wait, you you were upset that I played Ruination, but 
Stealing everybody's lands. That's <laughs> I'm out of income. I just I'm out of income. To, I want to check here, though. I'm not destroying anything, though, honestly. There's no oh, mass land destruction oh. in my deck. All the lands are alive and well. Right, they just right. shifted around on the battlefield a tiny yeah. bit. Sure. <laughs> I see the difference. Yeah. Makes sense. Fr friends? <laughs> I mean, no I mean, friends. Just, Don't steal my lands again. I'll play, no. I'll play a second game. I'm fine with that. <laughs> um, no, I mean, I, I can't, I can't close to... out the game. Over on Seth, right? Who look? I, I guess overrun Seth. Yeah, if we just steal I'm lands twenty four. I mean, to steal lands, he has to tap a lot of creatures. Yeah, all of them. But he's drawing two yeah, cards for every single creature he plays or a druid yeah, he plays. Yeah. I will do and my best to win on my turn. I can't promise okay. it, but I, I will do my best to win, and we can play a second game. Sweet. Um, let's. I think we're just gonna draw. Cards and see what we hit. Ooh, I have a, I have a fabricate garbage. in hand, but I, there's nothing that I can tutor for that takes us out of here. No boom pile. <laughs> no boom pile. No. But also, I would have had yeah, three mana to, work with, turn, yeah. mana to work with, or one mana to work with, two mana to work with rather. There's no two two drop in my deck that uh does it. So we're just gonna draw cards. And I mean. In, in theory, if I hit like Manic Crypt or something, I can keep this going for a bit. But we have to see what we get. I do like the Mirrodin Besieged uh, Skull Clamp Loop. Like that's a that's a cool mm -hmm. little card draw package for an artifact deck. Yeah. Uh, we didn't hit one, but we will play a land. Ooh, that's a mm -hmm. good land. Not just any land. Mm-hmm. Here's a saga. I still don't know how I feel about this literally being called Ur's a saga <laughs> and also being broken. It's that's a flavor. It's a flavor. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. I can't jump diver. diver. Ooh, workshop assistant. Hmm. I think I see where your deck's going, Tomer. Are you are you making like infinite tokens with it? Is there a way you can keep looping those from the graveyard with Mirrodin Besiege out to make infinite tokens? We'll never know. <laughs> 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 Maybe right, in game two we will know. <laughs> well, I should I should I play the same thing? Because like I I think we need a control deck at the table, right? No, no, no like no. this is just going to happen again. I, I, yes, I promise. yes, yes. It's maybe. I mean, I think I got it's a little lucky. Lens. Uh, I mean, I when, when you're so, playing like, all ramp, yeah, <laughs> if you're an all ramp deck, I don't think you're getting lucky. You're just doing what the deck does, right? Well, I and mean, I, I did happen to just mill the guilt leaf arch druid and get it that, like it happened to be near the top of my deck. I guess I draw it eventually, but hopefully. But mm. all right, I mean, I don't care. You can switch if you want to. All right, can we close out the game? Can we be a responsible commander player who closes out the game after <laughs> stealing people's lands? <laughs> all right, midnight you got clock. It. Takes Auto up. Yield. We're gonna try. Here we go. Uh, so we have a, a tiny bit of mana available. Just a tab. Uh, so let's see. Step one: <laughs> play a a druid. <laughs> Draw a couple cards. There are there are finishers in the deck. They do exist. I mean, stealing my lands is gonna finish it. Or I'll just I'll scoop at that point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if if he steals everything, he's tapped out almost. Well, no, because no, he's just drawing, keep playing creatures. He's drawing fifteen <laughs> cards, so he can de deploy. Oh yeah, yeah. he <laughs> says. He just keeps playing like, creatures and drawing okay. cards and playing creatures and drawing cards, right? Yeah, um, I guess sure. we'll do this just to draw a few more cards. I mean, you gotta play finale of devastation or something, right? So you can. There is there oh, is a finisher okay. in the deck, yeah, uh, and then. Ooh, okay, this is sweet. Um, <laughs> this is what I really... This was a whole goal. My goal wasn't to steal Phil's lands, although I did steal Phil's lands. <laughs> My real goal was to to try to steal everyone's lands all at once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll put that on the Gilly Farch Druid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm We'll do that. Yep. Uh, and then we'll tap this. We'll make a little Nykthos mana. 
will uh, cast Lithoform at you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yep. That should you, be... You know what? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh! Yeah, I'm going to have to steal your lands, <laughs> Nia I'm telling you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, well, that means we got to go back to drawing cards, I guess. Because <laughs> we can't steal <laughs> everyone's lands. <laughs> I could have protected my lands, but... Oh, actually, no, wait. Maybe this is fine. Do we have enough mana? All right, draw a card. Draw a card. I might be able to just do this anyway. Oh, that's not a finisher yet. Uh, this makes how much? 18? Mm. Sure. So we're going to tap all of our stuff. Um, we're going to play this. I have so much mana oh. to get to get back the lithoform engine. Play the lithoform engine, um, and then we will do this. Get our revenge on Neachuk for countering our spell, and then we'll copy it, and then we'll copy it, <laughs> and then we'll do this. Uh, so we'll take Tomer's lands, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we'll take Phil's lands again. I mean, like, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I can't even be mad. Still, still, still eight mana floating, <laughs> just in case. Still got a little mana guessing. floating, and then, um, I guess, does this close out the game? Hmm. Oh, does it not? Do I still have more mana? How do I just... I need to make you die this turn, or I'm going to feel guilty. Um, hmm. All right, so play this. Play, play this. Uh, yes. Draw a couple cards. <laughs> I wish it had haste. Haste would be really, really helpful here. Um, we draw more mana. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we just do this. I don't know if this literally closes out the game quite or not. So we're going to put all of our mana into a green sun zenith. That's and get, hoof. and uh, and I think get a get a crater hoof. And should, only have two. I don't think it's enough to kill the entire table. table. Oh, yeah. White. I mean, it's good, but it's not can... quite lethal. Mm -hmm. Sixteen. So, but I mean, I think. Practically, I think I kill Phil because he has the board that can potentially kill me. And yeah, then just I think uh, that should do it. Yeah. And then I assume that kind of does it. If I hadn't stolen all the lands, I think I could have just hoofed, but I I couldn't not steal all the lands. That was entire <laughs> the entire <laughs> point of this. <laughs> all right, my apologies. <laughs> That's fine. What, is, what do you it think? You, got, you did the thing. <laughs> we did the thing. Accomplish. <laughs> but everyone doesn't seem to be having fun that much fun with, <laughs> with the you mission. Think? You think? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I mean, just don't complain if I cast ruination. That's all. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> uh, but I'm a magic player, Tomer. It's what I do. <laughs> I honestly, I honestly think. Guild Leaf is, is cool and all. Just, it's, it's yeah. an elf ball deck and nobody had interaction, so elf ball did elf ball. All right, I, I got nothing. Druid. I'm gonna Druid ball. Concede. Game two. Right. Uh, nice. Switch, switch decks. Nice. Are you switching oh, decks? Wait, you want to play a control deck and be like the one who controls me and Seth and maybe <laughs> you took But nobody, depending but on otherwise what like, we're just going to have the exact, we're going to have a repeat of this game. I guess that's fine <laughs> if the viewers like it, but like. I mean, Seth 
God, it's Seems lucky. Kind of, I think lucky. I ran pretty hot, but still. Yeah. Uh, I, I got I, lucky I as well, by the way. Uh, Game two, uh, Clash yeah. on still. Clash on still. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know if we lost for this. Yeah. I guess it's Phil, nah. but uh, we didn't change oh. any decks. The decks are the same. I didn't switch the control. <laughs> I'm locked out of it. I'm curious. Uh, yeah, I'm curious. Do you consider Guilty Far True the same as Armageddon or Massland Destruction? Is it the same? Does it count as the same thing? Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments because I'm actually curious. You're crazy if not. <laughs> You're mean, crazy if not. What? <laughs> Ruination, like if you have a deck full of basics and Ruination doesn't touch your mana base, I don't see the difference. Hmm. Hmm. I think the so the one way I can see the the difference being like I feel like if you have all the lands at the table you kind of do win more than Armageddon like with Armageddon if you blow up all the lands and you're not in a position to win oh, yeah, that could be about, like, what about I'm mono red and I'm blood mooning you right like isn't that yeah. the same? I mean right. I think the other difference is um, oh Gilly ooh Gilly Fartshirt requires Silver a lot of work. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't like the outcome is obviously j maybe even stronger, but mm. you need seven structuring things. your entire deck around a non legend that you have to get out of your deck. Like Armageddon, um, you can just play if you are ahead, and then it's. Or like Blood Moon, kind of the same thing. Like, it's just one card that does the thing. When Gilly Fartshirt, like, it is, it is really strong if it goes off, but you do need seven druids. To actually do it. And it does just yeah. die to removal if people were playing. Like if Krim was here, <laughs> people, no way. Yeah. No way that's <laughs> no ever way. happening. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> well, it's like a control deck? No way. Yeah. I mean, it's harder, but I also don't think there's any problem with either of these cards. That's That was my main thing. Is like, so do you think, think we should just play? Totally valid. Hmm. And I think Blood Moon is also totally valid. I think maybe you've talked me into playing more basic Stomer. <laughs> that ruination <laughs> two weeks ago. I'm I think running it convinced them. because I think it when I played, so, me. I checked the comment section on the when I played ruination. Everybody was saying that ruination is fine. <laughs> everybody was saying it was fine. Not so. everybody. I also checked that comment section. <laughs> Not well, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. What? Everybody everybody I saw. Editor's not. Live <laughs> 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 editor's <laughs> not. <laughs> oh my god! I have to discard. Maybe well, not everybody, but like the vast yeah. majority. This got for hundred percent yeah. the vast majority. Yeah. Ooh, mirror hall mimic. This is such a fill deck. <laughs> this is yeah, all the I, all the fill cards. Oh, yeah. the cards I didn't want to it's play. Just big, just big, simic, big simic ramp spells. Big simic. Ramp. Uh, I Ooh. noticed mirror hall mimic is bugged on oh, MTGO. I played oh, it no. the other week. Uh, oh, if you it? disturb it, if you disturb it, it comes back on the front side. Hmm? But that's so weird. As a copy, <laughs> what? Yeah, as a copy of something, and you, when it dies, it goes back to the graveyard. That's uh, actually kind of busted. What's <laughs> the verdict? Can I? I, I should probably j then just not do it, right? Probably. Yeah. I mean, I think using it once is. That's, wait, what is the yeah, backside just, supposed to do? The, the backside they follow, followed footsteps. It creates a token on right. keep. Mm. We'll I would see. Mm. We'll I would see. say I using it once is probably fine. I gotta use it once to see if it still <laughs> bugs. <laughs> but I wouldn't cast it every <laughs> turn, or I think. No, no. If I if it just goes back to the graveyard, I'm not gonna do it. I'm yeah, not gonna focus on doing it anyways since it's like my plan B. But that's weird. That's why we, we yeah, yeah, I was randomly playing it last week for for a game. And randomly playing it, it's an auto include in every deck. <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. <laughs> Ooh, cultivate. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is you this is one of the free actually. secret layer ones yeah, that yeah. they gave everyone, right? Yeah. yeah. Check your mono collection. You should have a Teferi and a Cultivate oh, and a Soul Ring. Yep. Oh, yeah. nice. If you played one game per week, they give you the Black is Magic Secret Layer the entire game. Oh no. I might so have been most people on Commander. But you did Clash, Commander Clash. So yeah. we should oh, all yeah, get it just from Commander Clash. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it's one of yeah. any game. Let's go. I I missed one week. Unfortunate. Kinda cool that they're giving away cards. Wizards yeah. usually doesn't yeah. do that on Magic Online, especially like Teferis and stuff. They're like legit cards. Yeah, yeah. Teferi Tefer who is the Minoya is worth thirty cents now. Because everyone yeah. got one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> hey, that's how it should be, right? It shouldn't be like this ridiculously expensive card. 
I mean, it was it, it was like three dollars before. It was. I mean, no oh, one's no one's asking Elemental for another economy stream. Ooh. So whenever creature with power three or greater enters the battlefield, uh, I draw a card, which will happen sometimes. The, this one <laughs> is really good because it doesn't send on token. Yes, yeah. it's. Ooh. I played it in the uh, Tetsunari deck, the the Toad Rider. Oh, it's amazing there with the reoccurring three three toad. It's oh yeah, that's love it. that's almost like a combo piece. That seems really yeah. Good. It's mm. a high synergy, <laughs> not really a combo, but it's very synergistic, especially since it triggers the toad rider itself. It's oh, it's amazing. Always that so cool age. It's kind yeah. of a repeat, except yeah, the green decks are not. As except you right now. Yeah, and I got a, I had a hand that actually wasn't trash. <laughs> <laughs> Ancient Doom helps. Yeah. Or just gonna go big. I added this after <laughs> after that what game. Oh, the mana crypt. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good Ooh, one. Crypt and tomb. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at ah, kill boy playing C E D H. Yeah, <laughs> kill kill mm. Tomer first. I got. I guess I, knew <laughs> I guess I knew whose lands I'm stealing. <laughs> you had your fun last game, <laughs> Seth. All right. I know. You had, and you might still. Ethereum sculptor. My time to do things. I've casted more spells this game than I did last game. So <laughs> you've cast, yeah, you've casted it. Oh my god, oh, yeah. and the skull oh, clap too. Oh, oh my it's god. Back. Oh it's my back. god. We got to kill Tomer. Tomer's so far ahead. So one card I had to cut out of this deck because it's still not on MTGO is the new Reclamation Sage that oh yeah this for every player. Yeah. I love this so much. Look at how good Treat it would be in this deck. I I'd be so yeah, good in here. This game stage here. Yeah. Oh, mm. yeah, I hate that this is this is like a staple and it's not on uh, Magic it's Online ads. More. That really sucks. I don't even know why wow. that one's not. It doesn't even seem, it seems like some of the weird designs. I can kind of get why they might not want to put the time in, but that one seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, we have the Wheel of the Council that exiled. Yeah, that wasn't bad. That's yeah, not that was, bad. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, Skull Clamp, Mana Crypt, Tricket Mage, Ethereum Sculptor. Uh, wow. It's, you haven't even played a Mana Dork yet, which is I haven't very done anything. Strange. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, like yeah, most ten or more one drop elves. I like. uh, well, yeah, close, yeah. I only have the druid ones, but they're almost all druids. Yeah, I guess we'll just do ugh, this. This doesn't feel hmm. It doesn't feel great, but uh, voice Ooh. many. Oh man, draw two. I mean, sure. yeah, that's still. Formula, um, yeah. yeah, that's, that's not too bad. It's not horrible. It's almost a middle drifter. Yeah, that's almost not. a harmonize. It oh. doesn't stop Tomer though from going off, and I, I feel like since I was the one that stole the lands, <laughs> I might be the one that's getting attacked this game. <laughs> no, we're, we're didn't we say we're secret theme friends? <laughs> Ooh, I, yes. no. <laughs> yes. no. we're definitely secret I theme I'm, friends. I, I would like to. I would very much like to see Neotic also pop off. So I'm rooting for Neotic here. I'm definitely not attacking him. That's that's, that's yeah. Uh, that's it doesn't cool. really look. You two had your fun. You I'm sure? having my fun right now. Ooh, sure? yeah, this is archive is. That's not quite a spell shaper, but it wins for the return. Okay, oh, it kind of works like one. Oh. Mm-hmm. That's also one of the ways I keep my hand full of spell. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that that makes sense. You can discard. Yeah, oh, just... that's actually a really neat synergy. You discard all your spell shapers and just refuel. There yeah. it is again. Draw Always with cut. the tracker. And... There is a crazy amount of repeat from the last game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, not from Seth's side. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> not me. All oh right. boy. Um, heads always wins. I believe that's the term. Yep, there we go. Oh, I think we just gotta wait for Tomer to lose to Ancient Tomb and Mana Crypt. That's our. That's our. Yeah, goal. that's that's when <laughs> <really tricky. laughs> a bit. Well, what's oh my god card that I play last last turn? Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty good. 
Um, it's funny that you drew all the same cards, but your deck is performing like a hundred times better this game. Or maybe everyone else is I just mean, slower Ancient this Tomb game. I sl- Silver Mirror on turn one is very good, right? And then you got the Mana Crypt too. So you had the, yeah, you got all the mana this game. Yeah. I mean, I could have gotten in the last game too, but uh, I got a Skull Clamp instead because I got greedy. Not punished. I might kill myself with the Ancient Tomb and Mana Crypt though. That's that's what I'm, I think that's our hope. All We're right. gonna get let's, fucked. Let's let's tip our hands <gasps> oh, a little bit. Oh let's wow, this is actually close bit. to. Oh, this can go off this turn potentially. Yeah, it can I, be something uh, right now. Does anybody play interaction? <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> does anybody four. play interaction? That was the question that I was I mean, asking even, last game. Even if it gets assembled, it's a ten ten. It's not gonna yeah, cross it have it this turn. <laughs> but it's just does it have like any? It does East and Vigilance. No, it doesn't have protection. protection. It doesn't have protection. I guess we're going to find out if Mirror may make a steal back then. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So I can pay five and I can exile all your artifact creatures. Wait, are you missing? You're one short, aren't you? No. There's three of them. Oh, 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 yeah, you're right. Four. Yeah, the the sculptor is an artifact creature, too. All right, let's tip my hand a little bit more. We Ah. haven't tipped it enough. You know? Oh, oh my god. Oh no. Um oh. see Tomer's got broken cards too. Yeah. Alright, Tomer, let's see it. So wait. Does this go infinite somehow? No. Mm. Not tra- with oh, with this board? State, no. <laughs> he's well, trying yeah. to. He's trying to. He's probably <laughs> trying to go Caldra Infinite again. Yep. Yes, I think. Yeah. What? I don't know what Caldra is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Mech Titan deck. It's a Mech Titan deck. Uh, you guys don't have interaction, I don't believe. In that. Uh, I did. You believe so correctly, yes. Yeah, so we're just going to do that. It has haste, right? It does. Flying Trample Lightning. Okay, okay, finally. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, let's, just, let's just do it. Why not, right? Yeah, go. That's what we came here to do. Two, do it. Three, four. But what does the Ashdown's altar do on this setup? This setup ah. just generates mana from the. Meat. What doesn't it do? Mm-hmm. Max Seth. Fair. Oh, I could have attacked more things, but whatever. We will take the ten. Heck yeah. That's All a right. pretty, pretty fast Mac Titan. Turn four Mac Titan. Impressive. <laughs> Turns out, uh, Mana Crypt Ancient Tomb is uh, really good at doing that. <laughs> um, uh, let me just pass. That was it. See, fair magic. That, that was that's pretty. You sweet. guys play that's fair sweet. magic. I play fair magic. Hmm. What do we do about this? I don't know. Pass. Artifact creature token legendary. Oh, I think uh, I play a bane of progress. I definitely have it in my deck, but I do not have it in my hand. No, that would, that would make me sad. Mm. I think I saw it in the deck hey, list. Pain of Progress also destroys the other saga. Oh, yeah. Not that this would not just absolutely wreck Toma anyways. <laughs> yeah, that would put me into the stage. <laughs> For sure. Uh, you would get the stuff from the Mech Titan back. Yeah. Just uh, yeah, no, I'd only get one tokens. thing because yeah. I got tokens underneath. Oh, it. it's the rest of his tokens. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, Freddy's oh. nice. Oh come on! Not... <laughs> come like, on! Kill... <laughs> so Tomer, you did all this yeah. work for the Mech Titan. We could oh, still be secret did. friends. Maybe no, what if you attack did. other people for a you. turn or two? Okay. 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 What, what, what should <sighs> the comment section want you to do? <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. Strip I did steal all Tomer's lands last turn. Land. <laughs> but I won't hit you. <sighs> all right. I won't hit you with the mech titan. We're going to make an elf. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants wow. the ramp. <laughs> I wonder if the mech titan will, gonna, will, will hit Freya Liz instead. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll just stay, we'll stay on defense. Tomer wouldn't do that to his, <laughs> to his no, secret he, friend. He wouldn't. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't lawyer stuff would, like yeah, that. Yeah, what would would I would no, I'm probably hitting Phil. <laughs> Oh, All right. Uh, I'm not hitting see. Yotic, that's for sure. I want to see Spell Shapers do that. Are we wheeling? Yep. Hell yeah. Oh, no. Hell yeah. No. Oh, I cool. got a little mm. worse. Mm. Oh, we did discard this stuff? That is mm. 
What did you have? Wow, Phil, Phil had a Rich handful Car's of expertise, really. Avengers, Zendikar, Nissa, <laughs> Guardian Party. Yeah, I got some slappers there. But I know mean, land, so I you need a mana though. So there was no Kodama there. there. Oh, Guilt Leaf and Genesis. Okay, so I, all right. <laughs> so you have a way of getting back your Guilt Leaf in the graveyard. Oh no. <laughs> I only have two druids though. I'm not even not even oh, close. So You're cool. like a turn. Yeah, you, you need another turn to set up at the very least. At least, yeah, that's what I mean with get leave. Like seven untapped druids is kind of wild. Well, you're making nah, it's two super with fine. Frey, it just worked last. You make two. Oh, yeah, with the rings. Okay. Mm. Nah, it's fine. I let my <laughs> lands get stolen all day. If that means <laughs> Seth has to build his entire deck around this. <laughs> Ooh, what's it's, this? It's, oh, it's more. Airplane. It's more scary when it's a, a table of like no interaction, right? Yeah, that's where it's like, yes, there's a guilt leaf, and yes, we should be able to deal with it, but none, none of us have any interaction. I mean, play removal, <laughs> noobs. <laughs> well, I have player. <laughs> Not removal my fault. You got to play removal. I don't know if I'm okay. happy that Phil discarded those cards or I'm scared because now he might have lands. <laughs> I'm just afraid when he play finds the cards. Kodama again. As soon as he finds the Kodama again, I'm terrified. That card, I'm almost surprised they printed that card. It's just such a easy yeah. combo piece. Yeah. Uh, it's the first time too. I mean, with whoa, it whoa, yeah. Why is this one of the partners? I've personally lost to it it this has deck like well. a billion times because <laughs> it's Karuga Companion, Kodama, and Sakashima. Is the, oh, the, the way sure. most yeah, people do it. Sounds yeah. awful. Yeah. yeah. And uh, <laughs> when I saw nah, Kruger Companion, I'm like, I, I started getting PTSD from <laughs> yeah, from, from, those, from those games. Well, let's yep. find out if it's... Do we... Do we... Mirror Hall Mimic. <laughs> Let me just read the backside, which I... Oh, okay, okay. okay. This, so, uh, you may have no, trackers, man. You may have. Oh my god, it shows me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a bad sign. It so, says the same text on both, it on says both sides. The same text on both sides. <laughs> okay. so I, I guess this is fucked. Re then. <laughs> pull up, pull up the mirror hole mimic. Like, yeah, look right at Right click it. <laughs> it's got the front side text for both sides. Oh wow, <laughs> classic. I guess I'm not doing this then. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess I can take I mean, one hit here. I just want to play this commander. This card is so sweet. I gotta keep that one in mind. Uh, even in the 99, Emoti seems... Yeah, like, yeah it's a sweet card. It is. It's so much free value. Cascade, this could be anything. Especially in a fill deck. Like, if you're playing, like, Simic and all the big stuff anyway, it just seems, like, really, really, really good in the kind of decks you play. Oh, my yeah. lord, Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Clever impersonator. Huh, what is this impersonating? <laughs> oh, should I just steal Fraley's and destroy the Mech Titan? That's probably better. That's or you could just get your own Mech Titan. How are you... Oh, you can copy Fraley's. Yeah. Oh, you can copy anything, yeah. Destroy a draw key for each green creature. Hmm, this Fraley's will die, though. You can make your own Mech Titan. Mech Titan battles. <laughs> I guess we gotta battle it out here. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's get the Mech Titan. I don't know if that's a good thing. Oh, it has mm. vigilance. Yeah. Oh, this is actually it has haste. pretty legit. Okay. Um. Okay. Wow. This is. Oh, I love this card. Ah. Okay. And draw another card because why not? Okay. Um. Swing in. Oh, I can't feel what's in here. Get, get <laughs> it seems like it seems like copying the McTitan is a lot easier than assembling McTitan. I guess <laughs> Fraley's and McTitan didn't have a deal. Well, no, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> Toma oh, didn't do it. Yeah. I did not do it. it if, Seth, Seth, if you have, if you had destroyed the McTitan, none of this would. None have. of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> Ooh, but we're friends. True. I'm not attacking you with it. I, I appreciate that. Hmm. I'm, I'm way more scared of Phil than anyone now at this point. He's got a Mech Titan and he's what? playing a Phil deck. <laughs> but I look at my board. 
You got a mech tank, but you're not playing. You're not playing a field deck, though. I just yeah. know field decks. Once it, they get to like seven or eight mana, things happen. Big things. It will still, things. still take a minute for Thomas to assemble Caldra. <laughs> what <laughs> Caldra? What Caldra? <laughs> I don't know I, what you're talking about. I do kind right. of want to see Urza Tomer's deck go off. Down. Where's the saga's tick down? Is this All the right, infinite look. cauldra? Is it? Is this the it infinite cauldra? Right. Is that what you're doing? Astronauts alta. I don't think. I'm just. I don't like. <laughs> you're saying words out loud, and I don't know what they mean. It's like you're talking a different language. I actually. Me. I want to see infinite cauldra. I think that would be sweet. You want to, but he'll try your hardest to stop me. I know this game stuff. I no, know this no, game. we're 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 friends, Tomer. We've been friends all season. I think this we've we've actually been pretty good friends this season. We have. This is a season of friendship. Uh, I don't know what this card is. Who, who put this <laughs> in my deck? <laughs> who? I don't know. Oh, indestructible so mech titan. Oh, that's a much better card. Oh, that's boring. I think, I think that wins. <laughs> that wins the mech titan war. I don't care about that. <laughs> I mean, I could, I guess, but that's not like what we've it come here to do. You just have all the uh, all pieces. the Caldra pieces in hand. <laughs> no, I don't. But um, 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 I can pay one, and then this is three, and then I can like sack this, and I'm so close. So you can cast an artifact to make a thopter, and then you can sack it for two mana. So if you cast one mana artifacts, you generate mana? Yeah. Aw. And you have the Ethereum Sculptor. Artifacts have such crazy payoffs for and synergy pieces. So whenever I build an artifact deck, it's like Hello? overwhelming <laughs> how many... Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, hmm. I guess this will at some point win the Mech Titan better. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> Uh, uh, I mean, indestructible shroud, the uh, mech titan is a yeah, that's hard <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess that's what we'll be doing. I guess that's so boring, but <laughs> I guess an indestructible mech titan is like a good spot to be in. Yeah, it seems uh, seems decent. Equip four though, jeez. I mean, this is called fair magic, Phil. This is what fair magic was in 2010 or whatever, 20, 2005. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I 2000, that's a long time ago. Yeah. All right, there we go. And haste. Oh, dear. I mean, it's already at haste. <laughs> oh, yeah. How close are you to going off, Domer? I'm curious. Because I want to see Calder grow off. I actually I honestly want to see. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see infinite Caldras. All right. Give me a couple yeah. turns. Huh. Give me a couple turns. But I also don't want to die. See? When you say <laughs> you want to see it, you don't. Well, really no, I don't. I, I don't mind dying to infant Caldras, but I don't want to die to other people while you're trying to set it up. Like, oh, I'm Bill just, has I'm just like lowering his life total a little bit, but he's going to gain 10 again anyway. Off somebody that isn't me. <laughs> well, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Not Genesising oh. this turn. Oh yeah, no, it's only creature. Oh, Genesis is such a cool card. Ah, oh, it is. It's such a sweet design. Uh, new. No, we will not pay. They wouldn't do it anymore because it's hard to interact with. Well, you need graveyard at all. The opponent will just do the thing. But... I mean, they kind of did it with the yeah, you can look giant here, so. in Kaldheim, right? The red mythic giant that deals damage. Oh, this is so much Didn't it deal damage but from you, the graveyard you need or damage something? If you have a giant on the battlefield. Oh! oh, yeah. I'm did you get back to the guild You got to, oh, no, you get back the guild I didn't get back anything now, and I only have two druids, so we're we're a ways away from doing anything. Um, okay. All right. Did we just pass? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I think we're just going to pass and leave up a forest. It's very fair of you. <laughs> Don't 
Don't kill my Zendikar Resurgent. If I play that for seven mana and don't draw a single card, I'm going to be so salty. I'm in blue. I'm not touching it. <laughs> I'm in blue and I might be touching it. <laughs> oh, um, being a progress time? No. Not this turn. I think Seth might get one turn with it. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you can't count out Phil. I mean, I I'm did. still cascading. I, I can't <laughs> count on anything here. Yeah. It's it's just going to happen. <laughs> the spells you cascade into are usually uh, behaviors. Could be anything. What do we got from Neachuk? Okay. Oh. I, oh, I love Arcanus. <laughs> Arcanus is just a sweet card. It doesn't really see as much play as it used to, does it? This was like when I first I mean, started playing Commander, slow. I just wanted to jam it in like every blue deck yeah, I, I, I played. It was like always going to have an Arcanus. It's super slow and it's six oh, This text box is so cool. Like, yeah. oh, I never... I remember trying to play it and construct it, but it's obviously also not really good there. Yeah, it's just a bit. Gotta Six mana is so cool a lot. To untap with it. It's a cool card. Most midnight clocks going off this turn cycle too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, on my next turn, I think. Hmm. What do we got, Phil? What do we got? Do we mm-hmm. die? Clue. <laughs> I mean, the good news is that even if there's a bane of progress, Mech Titan survives it. Yeah. The bad uses the untapped. <laughs> so, I guess I'm just going to exile it. I don't want to know if the it, it looks really bugged right the fact that mirror hall mimic is mirror hall mimic on both sides kind of means that it's infinite yeah, yeah, mirror hall I, mimics. I, I can tell you, you <laughs> yeah okay so let's just excite it and cast oh this is gonna be sweet so even though i'm casting it for one mana here this Wait. treasure cruise has a Ooh. casting cost yeah. of oh, eight yeah. so it oh. cascades for eight. Oh, yeah. so it could be a lot of very impactful things. It Into... could also be like a three drop. Oh. And Rin's Epiphany. Oh! Well, I guess I did think, okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, I don't have I don't have extra turn spells, he said. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, no, 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 but you say it. Really? Oh, that's so bad I, news. I did cut all the extra turn spells like Nexus of Fate, but then I saw Iron's Epiphany and I thought, well, that's something I can do in turn two. That's a synergy piece, right? <laughs> So I guess I cast Aaron's Epiphany Cascade uh, again. That, oh my goodness. How many extra turn spells were there to start with? Was the idea to like cascade into Never extra three. turn, into extra turn? Oh, okay, so. Oh my god. Another okay, cascade. Eight drop into a six, seven drop into six drop, by the way. <laughs> Interpret the signs. Oh. Uh, scry three, I, I think really Tomer will up keep up. attacking uh, Phil for a bit. Yeah. I don't think <laughs> I'm going to have the opportunity to do that, right? Uh, <laughs> He's yeah, taking an extra not... turn and he, has, he clearly has big oh, haymakers, right? Take an extra turn. Amodi <laughs> is way more a... scary than I thought. Yeah. yeah. They sacrifice a landslide, but I mean, when you cascade here. perfectly 8, eight seven, six, that helps. <laughs> I hadn't really considered yeah, that, that I brutal. cascaded off the cascades. I was thinking you cascaded mm-hmm. once, but the cascade into a cascade into a cascade is kind of crazy. Yeah, this yeah, is... Most most it's like a baby have, Maelstrom yeah. Wanderer. You, you gotta work for it a little bit more, because you have yeah. to cast spells. Most, thing, most things that grant cascade only granted if you cast from your hand to avoid mm-hmm. this kind of thing. The first sliver doesn't, but the rest the, and emoti doesn't. Yeah, they had big um, restrictions. We still have to play mana value. So oh, I did already play in the end. Ugh. Well, I, I don't even know if I want to ascribe into something big here. <laughs> oh, I guess I am. Oh, mm, yes. Okay. Bottom. Oh. Sure top. <laughs> At this point. Oh, my I don't need goodness. friends. I don't need oh, friends. Oh, my God. It's, it's a blank thievery. Of course it is. Oh, of course. Oh. Whew. Um, See, maybe stealing 
stealing Phil's lands makes me the good guy. <laughs> when you really know, think you about should, it. I should have just played control. I should have just played control. I knew this. I knew this would happen. <laughs> okay, just play Thrixia in response because it has flash. No re reason for this. Spares I cast with mana value of five or greater cost one less and can't be countered. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Extra turn. And I get the birds because it's not the nerfed version. Yep. Love to see it. <laughs> Sorry. I actually forgot that I put this in the deck, but I kind of thought, come on, Fortel, you got to play it. Yeah. Uh, that was it. that was pretty good. Huh. Oh, my Lord. So, wait, and does Phil just it. win? I think Phil just wins. I don't, probably, I don't but probably. I'm not good at closing out games, but let's just try to. You just cast a bunch of six mana spells. You close out the game that way, right? You'll get oh, it. I will make it very hard for you to come. What is this? <laughs> Surprise! Oh, <laughs> nice! All this does oh, is okay. make it harder for Phil to kill us. Yeah, yeah. So we have to sit I through mean, more Phil turtles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will get rid of the Blaton Thievery and draw uh. all 16 cards. Oh, Ooh, actually, <laughs> I kind of like this. Maybe we can mill him out. <laughs> no. It's a mill him oh, out way. game. That was pretty clutch, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was not really just clutch. This is very, very good for you. I mean, you still have 16 oh, cards. Oh, okay, no, I, I can get it back, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 16 cards? Of... I might just mill it. I'll, I'll <laughs> do it. That's a good way to go, though. That's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Agent of Treachery, of course. Yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> the most fill card. Still gotta get that land here. Mystic Sanctuary is in this deck. Do I have enough forest? No. Hmm. I guess I get a island then. Hmm. Hmm. That was pretty good though. Yeah, that, that, that was bad. Yes. What is this? What are the odds that we, any of us get another turn? Do you think not we die this turn? I, no, I don't think so. Like this, I would do some messed up things, but it's not like not oh, legally messed up. I got the reliquary things. tower in hand. Ouch! I mean, oh right, before the extra turn. Yeah, my deck can't really interact with this. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. Mm. Save us, Neochuk. You got the... There's got to be a, yeah. a spell shifter for this. There's got to be a shapeshifter. There's got to be. There are. <laughs> spell shifter Just, for everything. Discard a card. Destroy target fill. <laughs> so how many cards do I have to discard? Ever? Oh, okay. Hmm. All this midnight clock might be a bummer now. <laughs> I mean... As, as long as someone still has 14 cards in hand. Oh, yeah, I guess it, <laughs> it works out with the archivist, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Phil, show us your, your best. Give us your best shot. How would I kill you? You just... I don't know. Cascade into a hoof? Mm -hmm. I don't. I think I don't play with hoof. I do play Apex Devastator. I also should be able to cast this for two mana, right? Uh, like this and this. Gelta. This what? should work, right? Yeah, Gelta should be. Uh, oh yeah. It's oh no! This could be so many cascades. For well, that's, uh, this can be a lot of cascading, but I, at this point, what's left in my deck? I don't know. Uh, maybe Court of Bounty. Court of, of Bounty. Okay. okay, that's. Doesn't even cascade again. Yeah, that's that's a whiff. Kind I of. become the monarch. I will definitely die from decking myself. And <laughs> when I begin of my upkeep, you may put a land card from your hand on the battlefield. If you are the monarch, instead put a creature or land card. Ooh. Man, I want that agent of treachery back now. Uh. Mm. Oh, that's a 12-12 trample for two. Seems fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then enters the battle here. Ooh. Creatures your opponent's control. Well, that's uh, handy. Let's just do this. Mm -hmm. 
A Scourge of the Fleets. <lacht> oh no. Okay, also, ja, 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 ja. Aha, aha, ja. Seven Moons are blockers. Um, oh wait, no, there's, not there's not many islands. There's not very many islands. islands. Yeah. Oh, it bounces nice. Oh, it doesn't really but... bounce that much. Oh, thank <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> sure. I mean, there's only one on the clan. Yeah, I guess that's true. In that case, and that cascades. Uh, not good. Cascade into the rush of knowledge. Of knowledge. Oh. Draw cast Ooh. equal to the. <laughs> draw trap. <laughs> wow, maybe, <laughs> maybe Phil does mill out. Maybe he does mill out, yeah. <laughs> only 35 <laughs> kills. But I left, can't do this. 12. I can't. I, mean, I gotta do this. I just played a reliquary tower, so <laughs> hey. Just draw 12, yeah, yeah. it can't help. Yeah. Oh my god. There's yeah, everything I could have ever needed. <laughs> okay. 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 okay, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. If you tap a permanent for mana, it produces twice that much. Okay. <laughs> Bounce everything that has toughness three or less, right? Sure. And draw a card. Um, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. And Another that's not a me. Oh yeah, elemental bounce on a me either. Right. I don't care if I mill myself <laughs> out. That's the best way to die. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, so I... This. Does this make tightness trample? Yeah, of course it does. It does trample, yes. But it can only deal 10 Just to you. Swing in at Seth for now. Mm -hmm. was... Ouch. That was a good turn. It's like mm -hmm. 10, 12. Oh, it could have been even worse. That first cascade off of Galta, I was expecting it to be like four yeah. cascades or something, and it was still a yeah. crazy turn. Man, I love this yeah, card, though. Would be a lot like, worse than that. This cascading into cascading is like, it feels like gambling in the best way. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. But I mean every other and player also has eighteen cards in hand, player. so there might be something to be done there. It depends how much free spell uh free counter magic he has now, right? Because yeah. he probably but has force and <laughs> you really think I play counter yeah, magic. We, we, we haven't like. yes, we saw counter spell being discarded, but non free. Yeah. So Wait, oh yeah. The, the mystic oh, mystic confluence. Yeah. Yeah. But there has to be like a guardian. Also, right? a sublime well, epiphany. But that's just at this point. That's the value spare, right? It's not just a counter spare. I, mean, I don't think I run like which three mana count. I guess I could run force of will in this one. Yeah. Fierce guardianship, pact of negation. No, oh, fierce guardianship. Not pact of negation. Well, pact yeah, of negation, pact of negation, yeah. but also the other one, force of negation. Pact of negation. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and guess. Wins. Yeah. No, yeah. pact of negation, not. But Nailed false it every yes. time. The Jace's archivist could almost kill Phil. All right, let's. Tap I mean, this it will Stop get shuffled it. back with a midnight clock, and oh, I don't have a right. SK enabler in hand. I forgot about the midnight clock. That's right. for mana. I'm not gonna make a construct. Don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would change much here. I mean, if you just make infinite cauldrons, that beats what Phil's doing, right? Yep. I can maybe I can mill out Phil. <laughs> I mean, twenty-four cards isn't that many. Do I feel like the Phil drew like fifty cards Ooh, that turn? Of the yeah, oh. around that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I got twenty cards in hand. Okay. Okay, so Tomer needs. Oh, this altar is scary. Twenty-four. Imagine I had this. Imagine I had this altar with the infinite clues. I would have won out of nowhere there. Oh, oh, mills? oh, easily. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I should be able to do some cool things. All right, let's see it, Tomer. Duh. So we start by rebuilding our mana. Mm hmm. I think. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Uh, oh yeah, everything. Yeah. So this is like generating mana. Soon. So so milling with all of the brood. Um. Is that what the Ashton's altars for? Is just sacking thopters. Sacking and whatnot. Kaldra. 
Oh, uh, okay, right, right, right. <laughs> I don't know what Ashman's Altar is as a magic card. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I feel Let's like it's a little bit uh, historic spell. So reading this Joyros Familiar, historic spell costs one less to cast. I love historic as a as an ability, but I doubt they will bring it back. Yeah, not that it's a format, card. it's a bit weird. <laughs> it's so sad that That's historic awesome. is such a neat combination of cards. Uh, artifacts, legendaries, and sagas are historic. Yep. Oh, too bad. I mean, we'll see the Minoia yeah, United. That's like five spoiler season from now. So oh, oh, <laughs> number two. Number two. Is this number happening? Two. Is this actually is this actually happening? I don't know what you're talking about. Are this we gonna actually like a, see it, Tomer? A, is it actually haste, happening? It's a haste enabler. Come on. It's just a haste enabler. Come on. Come on, secret ah! friend. Show me show me. I, your I infinite wonder covers. really why this random haste enabler is indestructible. Why well, just sacrifices for I think Tomer's no gonna reason. do it. I mean, you can draw no so many cards. Yeah, and the sword is just that Win with Kandra, finally. And <laughs> And it would just win-win because it'll mill the table out with Alter of the yep. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, and there's haste, so yeah, it, it's done. Oh, haste. haste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomer did it. I don't know what you're talking about. No way. Oh, yeah. You've been, don't jinx that. <laughs> you've been trying to do this for years. Don't jinx that. Like, years. <laughs> don't jinx that. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I don't oh, know yet. Yeah. Don't give me hope. Don't give me hope. All right. Let me just... <laughs> I mean, what, everyone's what, tapped... What happened? Everyone's pretty much tapped down. Okay. Is it actually happening? Don't. I wouldn't count it if I it can't work. Could. I think it's happening. It can't. Work. I can't believe it's happening, but I think it's happening. It can't work. Is it working? Calder piece number three. No. no. Yeah. Do, do, do you punch it? it? Do you so punch I, I it? Have all, I have all three Calder pieces on the battlefield. Is this okay? Yeah. 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 yeah yes. I got nothing. Okay. No, you can't pay uh, one to create a token. I will. You're infinite. Create a yes. Calder token. You did it. What a sweet way to die. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. To pass, to pass, I will sacrifice the Cauldra to the Ashmont's Altar. Mm -hmm. So yep. infinite mana. I will make infinite, infinite mana beer. by infinite making beer. another Cauldra over and over again. But this is also infinite mill. Yes. yes. With because Altar of the Brood, time. when it enters the battlefield, I will mill each opponent. And then I'm going to sacrifice the new Cauldra piece to the Ashmont's Altar for two. Make another one for one. And repeat this infinite times for infinite colors and mill. Secret friend win. Me. Secret friend win. We did it. We, did it. we both did our secret friendship <laughs> win. Oh my god! I <laughs> actually, I, I did not believe it would actually work because <laughs> Phil has twenty cards in hand. I thought he had like just a fierce. Nah, Phil I doesn't count. Phil doesn't I mean, play no, no, cards no, no, no. like that usually. Yeah, yeah. I just want value. If there's fifty cards in the graveyard, then I don't see any wow. uh, free. Because I don't have any, I don't have any counter magic in my hands. So if you had wow. it, you got it. Yeah, I can't stop it. I, can I stop probably it. wouldn't stop so it. That's just it. too sweet. <laughs> no, you'd have to, you'd have to try to stop it. Can't just get I, it I could, if I had one more mana, I could bounce the discard. I do have the sky turtle. Return uh, target creature to his owner's hand, but that, yeah, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't even do it. No. Yeah, yeah, he's got infinite mana it. anyway. Yeah, that, that, that could have bounced back the Arkham, but it could yeah, have just replaced. I don't have the mana anyway, so. <laughs> Sweet. Wow. Well, I guess good game. That is, I guess I got it. Game. It's good game. Good game. Yeah. That, that's a Kaldra ring, finally. I feel. I think it's been six years since I've been trying to get this to, to happen. You've been trying to do this for so long. Like this is a momentous so. day on Commander Clash. <laughs> like it really is. I was sweating so much when you had the Blade and Thiever because I'm like, he's gonna steal the Shield of Cauldron. That's it. <laughs> that's I have a. a I can't do. I can't do anything <laughs> about it. The right, funny so, thing. Uh, actually, I had Cyclonic Earth in my hand, so I could do something about it. But uh, okay. So We'll have to say Clash on next week because we all died at the same time in game one except for Seth. And we all oh. died at the same time except for Tomer in game two. I mean, That's true. Hmm. I mean, technically, who decks out first? Um, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There. Mm, I guess I technically Phil's going to run out of cards. First. That's fine. <laughs> no, I mean. Oh no, but I would be next in the turn order. No, no. But really. Yeah, but on your FK, I died to, to Oh, 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 oh you have to do it a cappella. No? Right? Well, that's, that's the last time. But... You have to, all three of you are, are, are technically losing, right? But oh, what, wait. But Mi what Midnight Cook saves me because that's a meal. Well, 
Tomer can just do it again after I can do it again. Yeah, like, as soon as it oh, right. it saves yeah. me from being next in next in death. I'm just getting this to, true. to waste time, by the way. Should, yeah, yeah, we can go so to the wrap up. We should. Unless you want me to uh, know everybody we, out. Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. Can, this is like. We can. We can, uh, uh, we can call it here. I'm fine with Scooby. I mean, you can call me. Try to mill me. Come on. It's just two more cards. You can. All right. Mill, mill Phil, and then we'll we'll call it. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wow, six we, years. Six years of trying to do this. <laughs> I mean, congratulations, actually, Domer. It happened. Yeah, that is impressive. <laughs> and I, I think, I think we well. all we all did think. Even if I looked like I wasn't doing much, I was always one turn away from going off from a right draw. So, uh, <laughs> so I was close. Close. Okay. Like, I was I was hoping that it'll happen. I have, it was I either have you fist- or me. That's who I wanted to yeah, do. Yeah. So I have a fist teacher, a teacher in the graveyard, and I have a few other untappers. And with Illusionist Bracer, you can really easily make infinite untaps, uh, which makes oh. infinite mana. Mm. If you have Ooh, any spell shaper yeah. or any card draw, you oh. can do everything. And you, you do have 19 cards in hand, so you would have been able to cast yeah, a lot of I, I didn't draw one of my ace enablers. So I wouldn't have, so because I need two untappers with Fate Stitcher because it only untaps other permanents. But I, I wouldn't have been able, unless I drew an uh, Ace Enabler or an untapper earlier, but I could still have, I was still one turn from comboing off basically the whole game. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I didn't yeah. know that. That's the idea, actually, the idea of a spell shifter deck is really cool. Yeah. I mean, um, spell shaper wouldn't have been the one to win, but I guess that can be my wrap up. I guess we do. Yeah, I would do wrap up. Was there any any other particular highlight spell shaper near in your deck? Uh, not really. You saw in the first game the spell shaper can, that can counter non creatures. There's the same that can counter creatures, but uh, and once you have the two, uh, the threat of activation is basically it's not quite a lock, but it's pretty annoying for the mm-hmm. table to deal with. But uh, otherwise, no, it's just spell shapers, ways to refill my hand, <laughs> my hand field. Meguses, a few advocates. Advocates are fun in, in multiplayer. They return cards to hand from the opponent to oh, do yeah. their effect for free. Oh, yeah. I yes, remember so Richard being really cards. high. Or no, was that you, Tomer? Who was it that played the white one Tomer that looked really bad? Was that you? Uh, okay. It's not really bad. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it like you give your opponent three cards and you get to reanimate a card or something. You get to reanimate yeah. a full card. It goes into directly to the battlefield. But don't they get three cards? Yeah, but they get three you cards. Should, you get, you, you choose get one on the, the battlefield. Card. But how yeah. can you... What about Secret Rendezvous? How can you like that but hate Secret <laughs> I, Rendezvous? Because I get to choose which cards you draw. You get, <laughs> oh, okay. Like, fetch yeah. lands or something. Okay. Okay, that... Mm, I'm, I'm also playing field. Secret Rendezvous because <laughs> I need to get my hand field. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm not conceding, by the way. Even if I'm timing it, I'm going to keep doing this. I oh, yeah, yeah, we, we can keep doing the wrap-up. I refuse. All right, okay. Uh, next. Uh, next. Uh, Phil, we got to see a lot of nonsense. Uh, yeah. Your trademark. Uh, was there anything really, really particular that you were hoping to pull off? Uh, at least uh, in game two, after game one. <laughs> I... I'm actually just very impressed with how good this deck worked, even though I never casted Karuga. Having the Karuga restriction kind of makes sure you never miss out on a Cascade. Uh, I don't know. It. You could make an argument that both of these games would have won, run better if I didn't have Karuga, but then again, all my Cascades were amazing. I don't mm. know. I'm just super happy with this deck. It's just so much randomness and fun. And yeah, I obviously included Agent of Treachery and <laughs> uh, Blatant Thievery. But hey, why would you complain? I didn't even cast them, so it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and so oh, yeah, that's otherwise that's it's just the from, classic from Civic the Pie. <laughs> A deck looked really powerful. Really, it looked like yes. super, just like cool shenanigans. And it does seem to work well with Karuga, because I like how... Like you said, you want to be cascading in other big things, so you kind of don't want a bunch of soul rings in your deck anyway, because it makes Emoti so much worse. So if any deck was going to make Karuga a good companion, it's it's probably this one. Yeah, and then you just need turn one and turn two. Some, just something to do, something that... I don't think I play Brazen Borrow, but stuff like... Oh, do I play Lovestruck Beast? Something like this. Yeah, so cycling get, effects or suspend. Right, yeah, stuff, and afterwards you're just playing a regular deck with... A lot of good cards. Like after turn one and three. 
Oh, it's an amazing... Yeah. By the way, I play... I have an Oko in hand here. Uh, <laughs> I included this. I, I don't know if that's so fair. I... Oko is amazing and it's <laughs> underrated. We're actually... We have a podcast that came out the week before uh, that I, I was trying to stay in it. I think it's fantastic. It's um, such a... I mean, it's Oko. It's the best Planeswalker ever printed. So it should be good, but never see it. I should mm, yeah. play it more right? often. I'm the enemy since Krim is gone and I live <laughs> for it. <laughs> I'm just going to add more homeward path effects and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to steal the homeward path. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had Cyclonic Rift. I was, that was the only thing that was keep, keeping me sane that game. Uh, but said, speaking of stealing, uh, yeah. Leaf Archer had kind of popped off uh, last game. You saw, you saw what the deck wanted to do. The only thing mm. that I'm disappointed in is... The real idea is to steal everyone's lands at once, but Phil got so far ahead that I felt like I had to steal Phil's lands or else he was just going to win the game the next turn. I would have rather waited another turn so I could play like the bracers and so forth. And then the idea is you just yoink everyone's lands and that should win the game, especially since Druids have some good like overrun effects. They got Kamal now, which is an overrun effect. They have this weird, uh, oh, what is the card? Earthshaker Giant? I don't even know where they printed this card. I think it was one of the theme boosters or something, but it's a six mana six six that when it ETB it overruns. So you get a bunch of overrun effects. So the idea is you play all these random mana dorks that are druids. Hopefully if things go right, you find your way to steal everyone's lands. Worst case, you can just play some overruns and beat down with all your land and war elves. So it worked pretty well. I don't know if there's anything super spicy in the deck. It's really mostly a ton of druids, as much card draw as I could fit. Uh, the thing I would say is I think Shikigi is actually a pretty interesting commander. Uh, this deck isn't like super built around it because it's Druid Tribal and Shigiki's a Druid, so that's why I ended up there and it's a new commander that I wanted to try. But it's really easy to make Shigiki powerful just by including like a Balagad recovery, a recollect, anything like that. Because you can set up these situations in the late game, especially if you get um, Zendikar Resurgent or some big amount of mana going, where just every turn you're able to discard your Shigiki to get back to get back um, a whole bunch of cards, including a recollect, and then you can get yourself in the position where you're getting back the Shigiki and just keep looping through your deck. So I think Shigiki is actually a little bit underrated as a commander, and I didn't even do that much with it, but the game that I went off with was we milled over the, the Gilly Farch Druid, and Shigiki got it back, and that's what allowed us to actually like go off and seal the lands and win the game. So I don't know if I play the deck a ton, because it is you're, uh, it probably is the equivalent of you know mass land destruction, really. Although it does it in a much more fun way, I think. But uh, it's fun to break out once in a while, and when you get a good draw, it can be pretty powerful, because you just naturally have a ton of fast mana in the deck with all the mana dorks. So with a good draw that you saw in game one, I just had like a ridiculous amount of mana, and next thing you know, I had everyone's lands. <laughs> it was very familiar. It, it felt very much like Elf Ball, except it had a very unique uh, end game. Yeah, and I mean, Shigiki most was like most of the mana dorks that you know as elves, like Llanowar elves and Arbor elves and Elvish Mystic, actually just happen to be druids too. Like everyone overlooks the druid part, but all those are technically technically also druids, so they work with the theme. Sweet. Um, as for my deck, uh, it got to finally do the thing. So it was kind of surreal when it happened because I didn't think it was happening <laughs> and then it happened. So I guess it was the first time I ever got kind of emotional about, about a commander game just because it's <laughs> been like six years for me trying to do it. So I did not think it was actually happening until it was literally, literally <laughs> I saw Phil's, uh, library at zero. Um, but yeah, so that was the combo. The other combo was the backup mech titan. Uh, I have ways of, I have mirror box and, um, Sakashima to get around the legendary rule um, so I can have any number of legendaries on my side of the battlefield and then I had Sakashima's will and uh, something assembly some some something to copy make make all my uh, creatures into copies of Mech Titan so I can win that way um, as a backup plan and and that was basically the deck Arkham Daxon is literally there to find the the, the combo pieces I have uh, the, the the Helma Calder pieces and Ashman's Altar and the Altar of the Brood. Uh, the deck is basically ninety percent uh, tutors, I guess, and the <laughs> tutor is in the command zone. Um, I have a couple ways of untapping Arkham, so I can theoretically get all the pieces all on the same turn, and that was the point of like the artifact tokens and whatnot. Um, 
And it finally worked. So yay. Uh Caldra can finally rest. I will I don't have to play it ever again, so before a second Caldra. You, you can put it away with the moon folks. It's, yeah, it rests alongside the moon folks as as finally seeing it's 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 time to shine. So uh Caldra can officially retire from Commander Clash. So there it is. But you I'm haven't the Dutch Keldra complete. You yeah. haven't the Dutch Keldra complete I yet. the Caldra complete is fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really win with it. It's not really a combo card, but yeah, that, that was it. Um, all right, so that wraps up this Commander Clash. Uh, we did anything goes. I don't know what we're gonna be doing next week. Uh, but again, big thank you to Neotic for stepping up and stepping in. Uh, in such short notice. Uh, and if Richard is watching right now, uh, congrats. Uh, hi. Um. <laughs> Congrats, and uh, I don't know if he's gonna be back next week. Probably not. We might we might have another another person uh, filling his shoes next week. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll 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 tweet it out or something when we know. Um, but yeah, thanks for reaching all the way to the end. The two percent of you that managed to get here. And until next time, friends. See ya. <laughs>